How's it going, everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech, and also to my review of the all new, just imagine it here, Kingston Fury <laughs> Renegade, a second generation PCI Express 4 SSD, which from my testing is hella quick. And luckily, there's, there's still some time before PCI Express 5 SSD is actually the market. So it's still going to be very, very, very quick. Now, the Renegade does come in four different sizes. Pricing wise, it's retailing for around $115 for the 500 gig lowest model and all the way up to $1,140 for the four terabyte model. So the Renegade is slightly more expensive than the Ors 7000S, which is going to be its main competitor in this video. With the Renegade using a 3D TLC NAND flash, you will be getting a top of the range performance with a great read and write live cycles. Along with the limited five year warranty and also free technical support you do also get a bonus of a free copy of the Acronis cloning software the renegade comes with this a cool full black design and the low profile graphene aluminum heat spreader with some graphics on as for temperatures putting the renegade through an extreme stress test it did a peak at 75 degrees where it did start to thermal throttle but when using in a real world test case we peaked at a 60 degrees Degrees. So temperatures for normal use won't be a problem at all and most motherboards these days do come with an included M.2 heat spreader so that will also help in reducing your temperatures and also my ambient temperature was also quite a bit high. Now the Renegade that I had was a 2 terabyte model and usually the higher capacity versions of an SSD do perform a bit better than the lower ones so do keep that in mind it's probably going to be a bit faster than the 500 gig and possibly it's like a bit slower than the four terabytes but it's going to be pretty close now getting into the benchmarks for our sequential test we did see some speeds slightly lower than the claim 7300 megabytes a second speeds but it was still a very close and also pretty much the fastest ssd that i have tested yet in sequentials now with a random test we usually see ssd start to slow down here and that was also the case for the renegade but it was still outperforming all of the other ssds with the uh, or 7000 is hot on its heels but still a bit slower now as for the real world transfer speeds i did copy over a 38 gig and 113 gig steam file the test consisted of copying the files from the Sabrent rocket pizza express 4 nvme ssd to the renegade and then copying that same files back to the Sabrent and then duplicated the files on the renegade itself so copy to copy from and then also duplicate on the drives. Now do note that the separate is slower than the Renegade and some of the other benchmarks were also against other slower pairs as that is what unfortunately I had at that time. So the test is not entirely perfect but it does give you an idea of how fast the SSDs will copy over. And from everything that we can see the Renegade is the fastest SSD in this test so far and very impressively it actually kept a constant 2.2 gigabyte bytes per second throughout everything which is really good and there we have it our quick little review of the kingston fury renegade which is currently the fastest ssd that i have tested on this channel till date but we will have to wait and see because pizza express 5 is ssd is also coming out next year sometime next year i think quarter two or something that they said so uh we still have some time but not too long before those do come out so if you guys enjoyed this review, please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always. Also, if you want to get it for yourself, I will leave links in the video description. If you want me to review anything else, let me know down there as well. And I do hope you guys have a lovely day further. I'll check off you next time. Cheers, guys.